We will be getting some stock picks from our market monitor guests coming up a bit later in the program. Ty? Well, Weight Watchers used to be the gold standard for shedding those unwanted pounds. The food plans, the meetings, uh, they all work wonders, but the company, well, it may be oh so yesterday. Weight Watchers stock fell nearly 28% today, its worst loss on record. Josh Lipton tells us why. Okay, that'll be seven dollars. Okay. Weight Watchers is a company focused on helping consumers cut weight. Today, investors cut their positions in the stock. Weight Watchers nosedived in today's trade, losing a quarter of its value. The company told investors on its conference call that 2014 will be a challenging year. Part of the problem, they say, headwinds coming from new technologies. Instead of attending weight loss meetings, people are using free apps such as MyFitnessPal and lose it to track their weight loss. Weight Watchers is also dealing with the increasing competition of wearables, or tiny computers that track activities and calories which consumers wear on their wrists. I think overall if the company doesn't improve its, its entire technology platform, and that includes its own mobile apps, its, uh, its online platform, and its uh, wearable technologies, I think it's going to be left in a difficult position. I think that consumers have fully embraced the idea of you know, using smartphones and wearables to, uh, uh, to manage weight loss uh, programs, and I think that the company has to embrace that. There's a lot of buzz about wearables, specifically for fitness enthusiasts. Canalis, the tech research firm, predicts that these smart bands will reach 8 million shipments this year and jump to 23 million by next year. The leaders in wearables include Nike, Fitbit, as well as Jawbone, maker of the up wristband, which helps you understand how you sleep, move and eat and costs about $150. Big-name investors are moving into wearables. Recode, the tech news site, reported just this week that Jawbone is poised to complete a new $250 million round of funding, valuing the company at more than $3 billion. Analysts say the wearables market will continue to evolve over the next few years, adding new functions for consumers. They'll continue to improve on not only telling you what you're eating and how you're exercising, but how you're doing physically at any given point in time and maybe alert out if you're going to have a heart attack or you might have a heart attack. And of course, other things like be able to tell you, tell other people where your location is if you've got a medical problem. So they, as they say, they continue to advance kind of on this health vector. Wearables pose a real threat to companies like Weight Watchers. Analysts say either they figure out wearables or risk becoming obsolete. Josh Lipton, Nightly Business Report, Silicon Valley.